So is there collectability to many of the Hot Toys figures that are currently in stock, sometimes greatly discounted, many times within the secondary market, drastically discounted? We're going to get into that within this episode for sure. And how about instant collectability? Is this something that collectors, that this hobby desperately needs right now during this volatile global economy? I've got the coffee brewed right here, my friends. Mm. Let's go ahead and dive into all of this right now. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Market Value Chart Show right here at Aries Cantina, home of Six Scale Cantina. Please go ahead and smash that like button. I so do very much appreciate your support. And hey, while you're at it, please also go ahead and subscribe to the Cantina. Again, thank you so much for your support. Instant collectability. And what I mean by instant collectability is instantly being able to buy something at a particular uh, price and have that price, that retail price, hold true at the very exact moment that you get it. Instant collectability. Not depreciating. Like when you buy a car brand new car off the lot, off the showroom floor, and drive it off. You got a lot of this going on right now. And make no mistake about it. This is an unprecedented opportunity for so many of us collectors to take advantage of what's going on here, whether we buy it from official online stores or we choose to buy it within the secondary market like we see here on eBay. I dare say, in the years to come, many of these collectibles that you're seeing like this at these outrageous, outrageously low prices, I mean, my goodness, this is over $600 the retail price, this deluxe version, and this is new in box, and this is a quarter scale, 381 You want to talk about driving something off the showroom floor and depreciating in value? I don't know about this much. However, unlike a car, a collectible like this, in the years to come, can you look at this similarly? Like you do. The dark side Anakin. From the dark times. Like the emperor on the throne. From the dark times. That sat in stock for forever. And ever. And ever. And what do I mean by the dark times? Do I need to really bring up the last Jedi? And all the controversy. From the sequel trilogy. And just like now. Back then, no one was buying because Star Wars anyway, not because of the economy, but because of the state, the spirit of Star Wars. But now you look at that dark side Anakin. Now you could look at that emperor on the throne 
And does it have that collectability? <laughs> you bet your arse it does. Both of those are grails right now when it comes to Star Wars Hot Toys. And you have to wonder, is it possible that even some of these figures could be future grails in the years to come? And I say yes. Look, if you have the expendable income right now, and there's something you really, really want. Let's say it's this figure here. Is this an unprecedented time where you could take advantage of these quote-unquote bargain bin prices? Yes. These aren't duds for the future. Oh, no, no, no. Are they duds to try and sell right now? And I say... You bet your arse they are. 381. And nobody wants to sell these. Resellers are not looking forward to selling these at these extreme discounted prices. And no distributor of anything is going to make money continually Selling at wholesale prices. I have people who reach out to me constantly. Talk about wholesale prices. What about them? You can't generate profits to be able to pay your employees. You can't pay all your bills and generate profits to stay in business if you're constantly just paying for it, selling it for what you paid for it for. It doesn't work that way. I don't care what it is unless you're running a charity service, in which case that is a different story. You need to be able to generate profits to be able to stay in business. You need to be able to generate profits, baby, to be able to grow. And if you're not growing, you're dying. Pause for coffee. Let's put this in stock during this economy. So is something like this for real? People are starting to get notices now. For this 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones Clone Trooper. And I will tell you right now, that I think it's a 50-50 chance that this figure is going to make it in stock, but not for the reasons that some of you are going to think. Is it because they're going to make another batch? Absolutely not a chance in the world, in my view. Is it because that time is a calling now? That, hey, you put your NRD now, this is coming up. And you're going to have to choose between a dozen eggs or paying for this or whatever it is. Or if you're struggling in this economy, which is what this economy is no joke. It's no joke, ladies and gentlemen. And while inflation, for the most part, it seems, in my view anyway, to have leveled off. It's not like it's going back down to where it was. Eggs are still four dollars over four dollars a dozen where I am. Albeit it's not going to five dollars. Thank God. And a lot of things are settling off, but they're not coming back down. Last I looked, gas is not $1.57 a, a gallon. I'm glad it hasn't gone up to where it's $12.57 a gallon. That's a great step that it's not rising at the moment. But people are still dealing with having to have to adjust to this volatile global economy, to say the least. <clears throat> if enough people have to back out of whatever pre-order on anything they pre-order in anything that's out there, naturally, what do you do? If it's a few hundred or hundreds, it's going to go in stock. I could see that happening with a great many of anything. 
So if it does go in stock, I believe it's because of that, not because that there's an extra two or three thousand, so that you can go ahead and sell it for these type of prices. Like this. No distributor wants to do this. No retailer wants to do this. No manufacturer wants to do this. And don't talk to me about wholesale pricing. That's a special thing. That's a bulk thing. You cannot continually do wholesale pricing and be able to pay your employees and pay your, your utilities and generate enough profits to be able to continue to, to grow. Look at this. Pulling this up. Just back from February 23rd. Outstanding seller. 70 feedback. Oh, 100% positive, baby. An artillery trooper. TMS 047. 122 bucks. Not including the modest thirteen fifty in shipping, uh, and it's new. Uh, it at one hundred and twenty two dollars and fifty cents. You know when you talk about when you look at stuff like this. There's not a whole lot of instant collectability in terms of being able to recoup your money back instantly. You're not going to be able to, if you needed to, or if you wanted to, recoup your money back instantly on this right now. You're just not. It's an opportunity right now to get a figure at a bargain bin that I believe in the future is going to be worth the potential to be worth far more. than There's an opportunity right now. Do I think you should go ahead and stock up on these or figures you don't want because they're in the bargain bin right now? You can get it on online uh, official retailers or distributors to do this. I, no, I'm not suggesting that, that you do that for figures that you don't want. Certainly, if you want to, go ahead. But for, for figures that you do want, for figures that are close to your heart, to be able to get them at these prices right now, it's unprecedented. COVID happened. Which changed the world. Subsequently, this economic crisis is ongoing. There were a lot of things that people didn't calculate for and couldn't foresee in totality. Companies, industries. Is this an opportunity to collect on certain collectibles and then in the future you're going to be like wow glad i bought that then because look at the price now or at the very least it's back at retail because when you got stuff like this right now this is not going to go for 122 dollars and 50 cents once people start getting this if this stays on wait list at the very least It'll go into the secondary market and at its worst, go for retail. Like the chrome-plated chrome trooper right now. And that chrome-plated chrome trooper now is starting to go for $20 to $40 over its retail price. So you want to talk about instant collectability. This is instant collectability in terms of being able to recoup your, 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 your money you invested back in. This is not. This is an opportunity. This is an opportunity. Mm -hmm. 
this was an opportunity before it hit waitlist. Just back from two days ago, $440. Outstanding seller, 131 feedback, all 100% positive. And used! Used! And $440. Here's one here new. $465. That's because that's $73 in shipping, so I'm putting in the... uh, $50 $50 on top of this because, you know, none of us get fooled with the crazy shipping charges. But this figure has instant collectability. Instant. Because it never, ever, ever made it in stock. Is this a benefit to collectors? When you're talking about needing, if you wanted to, recoup your money back right away? Yes. Is it even more of a benefit to resellers? Absolutely. Because now they can sell this at the price that it was listed for. Which in this case, $230. And not having to have to worry about discounting this. Or even think about discounting this. Are people that are going to resell this in the secondary market having to have to put this clone trooper up for this particular price here that I had this one up earlier? It's not going to happen. It's not happening with the chrome-plated chrome trooper. It's not happening with the arena suit Boba Fett. And it's sure as heck not going to be happening with this figure. And again, as I mentioned, if it gets in stock, I believe it's an extremely short window, and then it's gone. The benefit for you, the benefit for me, is being able to have injected into this hobby instant collectability right off the bat, like that arena suit fet, like that chrome-plated chrome trooper, right off the bat, like the Ray and Dio figure, like the Mud Trooper, like the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. Instant collectability with all of those that I have mentioned. Instant. Remember, all the juice has been squeezed on this. For the most part, this came out May 4th, along with four other barn burners, May 4th of 2022. This along with the clone pilot, along with the battle droid Geonosis, along with R2-D2, along with C-3PO. And you had up there roughly six months to make your decision. Not six minutes. Not six days. Not six weeks. Six months. And during that time, it got exhausted. And when it hit the low stock warning, it got further exhausted. In this kind of economy, when you're trying to squeeze more out of it, you start getting stuff that I pointed up, that I put up on the screen. You start getting stuff like this, even with the hype of the Mandalorian. And when is season three debuting? This Wednesday, baby. And back from February twenty third, one hundred and fifty three dollars for an exclusive, for TMS zero four four. Do I think that this could be a future grail? 
You bet your arse. Do I think that for those of you that love the armor and are looking for a bargain bin price right now, that this is an opportunity for you, whether you buy it online or in the secondary market? I really think it is. Because do, do I think you're going to have opportunities like this in the future? I say no. The manufacturers have learned. Distributors have learned. Resellers have learned. $153. Uh, $153. Here's Black Series Emperor. With two days and two hours left, $86. And I used to have this figure. This figure's awesome, actually. Low supply equals high demand. And lower supply off the bat equals a more instant collectability. And in many cases, grailability, like that Arita suit, Boba Fett, which in my view is already a grail. And... Is this going to sell more than that armor that just sold for 150 bucks, or that artillery trooper that I put up that was $120.50, and this is $86 with just about almost $10 in shipping? Again, limited numbers make more instant collectability. Even in an economy that is rough, where there's just not enough money to go around. Look at this right here. Even in an economy like this, $380, well within the middle of the market value chart average. This is the way. Low production numbers... Wow. This right now, for a lot of sellers, uh, it's not the way. $148. So far under retail. Outstanding seller. This is my man Ray at Hawk Wars Toys. I'm getting the chrome-plated uh, Mandalorian with the Pedro Pascal head sculpt from Ray coming up soon, uh, uh, coming to me here any, any day, and, and the Hunter. He now has 1,469 feedback, all 100% positive. <laughs> New. $148.50, not including the $25.29 in shipping. My, my, my. Grogu. So far, the Black Series Emperor. With two days left. Has more bids? And is in 80 something dollars. This one's $59. It's a hot toy. And Ray's awesome. He'll start some of these off at just like $9. Uh, very, very reasonable. And, and look at this uh, where it is right now. Mm -mm -mm. Low production numbers. Low supply equals high demand. Here's the Rex from the Black Series. And you have to wonder, is this going to sell more than the Rex? What it's going for right now that's available that is in stock in so many places right now. With 13 bids. 
not including the twenty dollars and seventeen cents in, in U.S. shipping, not including taxes. <laughs> you have to wonder. Mm-mm-mm. This. Equals instant collectability. With potential for instant or quicker grail ability. This does not offer instant collectability, but offers a once in a lifetime opportunity do i believe that many of these figures like boba fett in the throne that they have the potential to be future grails yes i believe this one sure as heck would be if this is a figure that you want and this is a figure that you coveted and you were just looking for the right price and you have the money right now and you could pick it up for $290, of which I've been seeing it, or it goes on sale, or there's a discount at your favorite online retailer or whatever, should you go ahead and take the opportunity to? Heck yes. Because are you going to have opportunities necessarily in the future with other figures like this? With figures like this? No. Which is why I believe in part why this is happening. Are you getting low stock warnings? Lower production? Because companies are just adjusting to the state of the global economy? Of course. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, that's what's happening. Is it a pump fake? Is it to create FOMO? To get people to press on pre-orders because they really can't wait to do this? Frack no. No, use your head. I'm trying to help you here. No. No. Again, unless you're running a charity service, it's just not a great business model. Opportunity for you. Opportunity for you right at this present moment. And I don't think you will ever, ever with these, get this opportunity with some of these that you have right now. You want to talk about the Tuscan Raider? Do you want to talk about Lando Calrissian Aries? Should I go ahead and buy those? They're on discount at the online at an online store. They're at discount on eBay. If you want those figures and you love those figures and you haven't bought it yet, my goodness gracious, buy it. If you got the money and you can budget for it. Why? Because eventually, my dear friends, it is just going to go up to astronomical secondary market prices, much like what you're seeing now on the screen. Remember when this sat in stock and nobody wanted it? And this is skyrocketing within the secondary market for Star Wars Hot Toys. And granted, have they made more production numbers on a lot of the figures the last couple of years? Of course they did. We're seeing it. We're seeing it with the Lando. We're seeing it with the armor. We're seeing it with the best car, Mandalorian. Shall I go on? But are there also much more collectors in the hobby now than there were when this was first announced? 
And I say, yes. And that is exactly why you have opportunities right now. This could be a future grail. It absolutely could be a future grail. There is opportunities right now because with the popularity of Star Wars on with, with uh, owned by Disney on Disney Plus. Once this economy starts going on an uptick, once people start settling into the new norm, once you start being able collectors, people start being able to separate out funds for expendable income. You are going to get boatloads of new collectors that are going to come in this hobby because there's going to be money at that point, some anyway, to be able to spend on these collectibles. And just like you saw with this, and just like you saw with the Dark Side Anakin, and just like you saw with the Emperor, can absolutely happen with many of these figures like Boba on the throne. Like the two-pack Boba Fett. Like the Lando Calrissian. Like the Tusken Raider. Like this Jawa and Gonk droid. But listen, this is very exciting to me. What's going on here? This brings instant collectability into the figures that we're going to be purchasing right now. All because things have been adjusted because of the, the, the this economic climate. Also, the changes coming out of COVID. The world has changed. Everything has changed. We're adapting. Companies are adapting. The world is adapting. This is the way. And there's going to be a lot of new ways that we go about doing things. When you're talking about buying collectibles at the prices of this magnitude, this is so refreshing to me in a current in with it with the current global state that we're in economically. To know that figures are going to be at least instantly worth what they are at retail, like the chrome plated chrome trooper. And with the potential for more instant grails like that Ray and Dio, like that heavy infantry Mandalorian, like that Mud Trooper baby, like that arena suit Boba Fett, like the arena suit Boba, prices like this. With $73 in shipping. Prices like this. Averaging anywhere from $420 to $460 for this particular figure right now within the secondary market for Star Wars Hot Toys. That's what I'm talking about. On the other side of the token, you've got a rare... Pause glitch in time to be able to get figures at bargain bin prices that I believe with the popularity of Star Wars and with everything Disney is doing right now and all the IPs, quite frankly, that Hot Toys has, the possibilities are endless with the amount of collectors that are going to be coming in and discovering Hot Toys. And I don't believe any of the sellers are going to go back to the way things were before COVID. To back to just putting things in stock. Because you have to want, is it possible that they are discovering an undiscovered country? An opportunity where they can make even more money than what they were doing previously? Look, I've mentioned this so many times on my shows. 
and a long... <laughs> Keep an eye on this. The collector's edition right here as a low stock warning. Obviously, they photographed the Grand Inquisitor with Darth Vader, the Third Sister with Darth Vader. Okay, those Inquisitors with Darth Vader. It's from the same show. They're all like peas in one pot. And you have to wonder, could when the Grand Inquisitor goes out and when the Third Sister goes out, could this Vader be going out, baby? And I say, let's keep an eye on it. It certainly wouldn't shock me. And it wouldn't shock me either to have the other two Inquisitors. You know, the fourth brother, the fourth sister, the fifth brother, whatever the heck that it is. You could be getting them that, and you want to talk about the hype. You want to talk about people that would not sit on these others. Are you kidding me? I mean, I absolutely can see once Reva hits wait list, once the Grand Inquisitor hits wait, wait list, for the other two Inquisitors to come out, wow, you want to talk about securing pre-orders? This is the way. This is absolutely the way. And there they are with Vader, the Dark Lord of the Sith. And uh, I wouldn't rule out Vader. Vader's had that low stock warning of the collector's edition. I wouldn't pay any attention that you don't have it on the deluxe uh, edition. You saw what happened with the R2-D2 with the Attack of the Clones Wave 1. It, it's just, once this goes... It, it's just like Dabado's baby. Goodbye, good night. And is it better for them? Is it better for resellers? Is it better for manufacturers to make more and not be able to sell it or to sit on it? And to sit on it and still not be able to get rid of it in an economy like this Because of the way these are moving when they're in stock. Again, I don't believe we're going back to this. Much more of an opportunity than making more Boba Fetts that are in stock to be able to put out a different variation of Boba Fett using the same mold and be able to sell thousands more because it's different. Which is exactly what happened with the Arena Soup Boba Fett. Which came out while this was on pre-order. Which came out while you can get the two-pack Boba Fett. Which came out while you can get the Boba Fett from the freaking book of Boba Fett. And as long as it's a different version, you have way more of a better shot than being able to sell these at 50% or 20% or 30% off Way better shot at being able to sell 3,000 of these, which is what they put out, and get rid of it, baby. And I don't care what happens with the economy. I don't think it's ever going to go back to the way it was because I think they discovered a new way of being able to do, uh, to do business. Furthermore, you talk about collectability. You talk about when announcements like this come out in Arena Soup Boba Fett. Announcements. Like the Attack of the Clones Wave 1, which blasted and broke the internet. Like the Clone Wars Ahsoka. And the Mandalorian Ahsoka, which busted the internet. Like the Captain Rex, which shattered the internet. Like the Mandalorian Luke Skywalker from the season two Mandalorian finale that busted the internet. We talk about these announcements all the time that bust the internet. You know what else busts the internet? That creates just as much buzz 
is when they're going for four, five, six hundred, upwards of a thousand dollars within the secondary market. Ooh, what's that? My, 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 what have we here? I better get in on this thing. Look at how much those are going for. Those head sculpts look pretty darn sweet. It looks like the real person. It looks like the real actress. It looks like the real actor. It looks like the real thing. It looks like that they're going to come alive within my hands. Can you imagine having that on my shelf? And then when you factor in that they're hard to get, what happens when you play hard to get? You kind of want it more. And when there's low supply, there's high demand. And in an economy like this, where there's actually just not enough money, regardless of supply or demand, when you talk about instant collectability or doing stuff like this here, it creates buzz. It creates a call to action. It creates excitement. It creates excitement about the next figure. Is it FOMO? No. Not when you've got anywhere from five to seven months to buy these figures. Not in my view, anyway. That's a whole lot of time. Again, it's not five minutes. It's not five days. It's not five weeks. It's five freaking months or six months or seven months. And to create a little instant collectability, for goodness sake, during an economy like this. I believe it's absolutely fabulous what's going on right now when it comes to these. On the other side of the token, you've got a great opportunity right now for some figures that I believe have the potential to be have future not only collectability, but grail ability for sure. Which is only going to make these, like you see Reva right here, like you see with the DX28. And let me tell you, even though this one has the low stock warning, with the collector's edition right now, even though it has it, Darth Vader You could go right into the secondary market. And I'll go ahead and bring this up onto the screen. And now rising, where it dipped for a while. And I told you that I really felt that every single one of these figures that were released in the 40th anniversary packaging of the Empire Strikes Back were going to be grails. Mark it down, including that Lando. Which is why I'm saying you got an opportunity right now to get a Lando at whatever discounted price it is and not going to have to pay six, $700 for it like you got it with Leia or Obi-Wan or Luke or Chewbacca or Han right now. Don't think for a second that that's not going to happen with Lando in the future. You have an opportunity right now. But just back from February 19th, $349. Wow. Not including the $20, $19 in shipping. Outstanding seller. Just four away from 1400 feedback. All 100% positive. And used. Here's another one. And this is Ray again, Hawk Wars Toys. And he has a lot of figures that are not available anymore. 
He's got the Emperor with throwing up right now. He's got a Hoth Princess Leia up. He's got an Obi-Wan up from the Revenge of the Sith deluxe version. He's got an Emperor and throwing up, baby. No matter what you're looking for, he buys a lot of collections. He double boxes the figures. Again, uh, tell him Ares sent you. He always has great deals. Best offer here on this, and this one's new, unlike the one I showed you earlier. He's always got great deals. $350, probably took $10, max $15 off. Let's say $335. Are you kidding me? The Dark Lord of the Sith going up within the secondary market for Star Wars Hot Toys. And even in an economy, I cannot even tell you what the prospect of this figure is once the economy heals. Once collectors start diving into Hot Toys and many other hobbies, once the economy starts leveling off, once it starts healing, once it starts going on an uptick, once people start getting more expendable income within their wallets, in their pocketbooks, in their, in, in their savings accounts, in their checking accounts, Figures like this, also from Hawk Wars Toys, not even a best offer ex uh, uh, accepted. And within this economy, a Hoth Snow Trooper from the video game Battlefront VGM 24, $575, no best offer, not including the $25 in shipping, over $600 used. And you have to wonder, what is the prospect of this figure once the economy heals? Once thousands of more collectors come in with the economy healing, with the success of Star Wars and Disney. It's going to be astronomical. Is there an opportunity right now? You bet your arse there is. Am I happy that that opportunity is ending? I sure as heck am. This is what we need right now. Plenty of opportunity, that's great. I see it. That's why I'm buying, that's why I bought Boba Fett in the throne. That's why I'm buying Hunter. That's why I'm buying the chrome-plated Mandalorian, because I think that they're going to sell for 50% retail. I think that they actually are. Some of them that they have a lot of stock in, depending how long this economy goes. Do I think it's going to be like that forever? No. It's an opportunity. But do I want to keep buying figures right now? That if I wanted to sell it in a week or in a month, I know I'm just going to, it's going to run off the showroom floor and I can't even get half my money back? No. you got a rare opportunity right now. Take advantage of it. I do not want it to continue. I want instant collectability. I want this. I want this. I want this. I need this. And what about what about the future? of Hot Toys. Will they hold their value? Should you buy Boba and the Throne like I did? Should you even bother with the chrome-plated Mandalorian? You may want to watch this episode, this Insider's Extra, entitled, Will Hot Toys Hold Its Value? All you have to do, besides believe, is join my channel and become a Cantina Insider. I'm going to give some expanded thoughts and some heightened analysis and give you some data on this. Will Hot Toys Hold Its Value? And... All you got to do is click on that little join button, see everything 
that it comes with to become a member. And if you think you could benefit from or, from it, you may want to consider joining. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be a barn burner, this particular episode here. I will tell you right now that Hot Toys will hold its value. What is the data? What is the stuff on this show that you're going to be able to see? You're going to be able to find out if you join the channel. Again, just click on the little join button, see everything that it comes with, but this will be coming out in a couple of days. And I'm real, real excited about this episode. And again, joining the channel to see stuff like this is cheaper right now than a dozen eggs, baby. It's cheaper than a dozen eggs. I don't always buy coffee out, but when I do, Mm. I buy it from Six Scale Cantina. Stay thirsty, my friends.